Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday of the 33rd week. We celebrate the memorial of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. So many people, so many saints that we celebrate their lives, and so many of them have contributed in some very special ways to our understanding of God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant that through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that anyone who is a murderer does not have eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. The word of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. Taste, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, to you who hear I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them, and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked, be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will re in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. So there was a priest who was doing a sermon on just this, this gospel passage, and it was about the love your enemies. So he thought he was going to take a little survey. So he asked everyone in the church to raise their hand if he asked a question. He said, all right, how many of you have a lot of enemies? And there were a few people that raised their hand. 
How many have what they would consider a few enemies? A lot of people raise their hand. How many have one or two or a small amount of enemies? They raised their hand, so pretty much the whole church raised their hand. So then his final question was going to be, all right, who among you has no enemies? Raise your hand. So he's looking around all the, all the way in the back of the church. There was a man that raised, hand, raised his hand, one man only, an elderly gentleman. So the priest, you know, thought, wow, this is great. Somebody has no enemies. So he's going to bring him up and make like an example of him. So he brings him up and said, you know, how old are you? And the man was like 98 years old. And he's like, how is it that, you know, you're, you're such an example of Christian life and how to, you know, forgive him, you know, an example of the gospel and living? And he said to him, you know, how did you do it? How do you have no enemies? And he, the man turned to him and said, well, all the evil scoundrels are dead. <laughs> so, you know, everyone has what you would consider an enemy or someone maybe you're not in agreement with. And I think the message of the gospel and loving your enemies is that you don't want to hate your enemy so much that it controls your life. You don't want to hate anyone because it, it changes you. I think the gospel message of forgiveness and mercy and love and loving your enemies especially helps free you up from that bitterness and all the things that go along with that. You don't want that bitterness to change your life because you hate someone so bad. I think that's the example of the gospel that Jesus is telling us. Is it easy? No. You know, if your neighbor who you don't get along with, their car's broken down and they got a flat tire, would you help them change the tire or would you just drive by? Think about it. Think about someone having a problem that you could do something about and you won't maybe because you're not in agreement with them. They're what you consider your enemy. Think about that. Think about what Jesus calls us to do. Jesus calls us to help them out. Jesus calls us to love them. Jesus calls us to do the, all of that. Show your love, your mercy, and your forgiveness. And you know, we just read the other day in the gospel that that mercy comes back to you. That mercy comes back to you because you're not consumed by that hatred, by that bitterness, and by all those bad feelings. Love your enemies. It's a challenge. Yes, it is. But go ahead and try to take care of that and do the best you can. God bless my brothers and sisters. For our church made a community of love and mercy and forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are lost or struggling, may they be transformed by God and by the help of others, let us pray to the Lord. From all those suffering from any sicknesses, whether physical or mental, may they be transformed and comforted by God, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, may they come to share in Christ's resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm in faith that St. Elizabeth of Hungary professed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, you, in every age you raise, in men, raise up men and women outstanding in holiness, living examples of the Christian life. And so we truly join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Leonora Ford and Anthony Lusak, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. God you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread, as we commemorate St. Elizabeth of Hungary, we humbly pray, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by enduring an eternal prize through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide this journey. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you.